Yo, 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 what's up? This is Reverend J.V. Whitehurst. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk Status.com. Uh, Let's Talk. Um, we're just running a little test uh, on this site right now. Green tea. Um, and what we want to do is we want to allow you uh, to peep into our lives and get involved uh, with us and see uh, how we are living out our purpose uh, each and every day. Uh, there is a saying uh, that that says that uh, it, it talks about our greatest fear uh, as humans uh, in life. And it says that the greatest fear uh, that we have is the fear of our own greatness, the fear of our own light. Um, and I find that as I uh, measure people and study people and deal with people, I find that to be true. Um, we can look at someone else's greatness and someone else's purpose uh, and we can be in awe of them. But it's, it's, it's uh, challenging for us to, to embody greatness ourselves and just be ourselves and let our light shine. And this is where I come in, um, being commissioned by God. I'm an orchestrator by purpose. Uh, my job is to live as the example and then uh, to develop and help the band or people uh, develop and build themselves physically, spiritually, financially, educationally, emotionally, uh, spiritually, spiritually, spiritually. Um, and I reap my blessing and my abundance and my prosperity uh, and I move forward in the Lord and I continue to grow uh, and I uh, enjoy success in my uh, building others. So it's to live, be the example of, of the abundance that God has available for us to build and then to lead service, uh, which is uh, anything that I can do for you and for anyone else. I'm here to do it. I'm here to love, love you and love on you. I'm here uh, to allow the Spirit of God to use me uh, and my family as a vessel um, to get uh, what God needs to get on the inside of your heart and on the inside of your mind. And, and so that's what uh, we're here for, to live, build, and to serve. And then first of all, being called by God to go into letting you know that Jesus Christ is the only way, the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him, Jesus Christ. And so that's first and foremost. And then what's unique, uh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of taking the simple but complex explanation of myself and how I understand myself and my being that I'm giving it to you. Uh, what's unique is God has allowed me over my lifetime to develop a certain set of skills and be exposed to a certain set of skills and people with certain skill sets of uh, all the way from theology and divinity to technology, graphic design, etc., etc., uh, programming, uh, Cisco networking, I mean, just, just like a renaissance man. And, and I've learned over the years of studying myself while I was studying other people and trying to go down the path that God wants me to go down and, and follow the steps that he is ordering and directing uh, that he shaped me and built me in such a way that not only do I use traditional methods uh, to support, inspire, and motivate people on their spiritual
spiritual, physical, financial, education, emotional journey, uh, but also innovative methods. And so he rooted me uh, deeply um, in sound doctrine, uh, in the word of God. And of course, I was licensed and ordained as a Baptist minister, but not that the denomination mattered that much being the sound doctrine of the word of God from Genesis to Revelation uh, translating back to Greek, Aramaic and Hebrew uh, and then rightfully dividing into the word of truth that he would have to come into your life to help you live your life the way that you would have the way that he would have you live your life uh, that's what's important about it and, 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 and he allowed me to be conservative enough religiously uh, that I don't just throw all tradition out the door. Some people preach to just throw tradition completely out the door. I don't just throw all tradition out the door because some things that were good for mama, daddy, grandma, and granddaddy all the way back to the slave fields uh, in the slave ships and then back uh, to uh, my own origination uh, as far as my genealogy some of that stuff is still good for us today in 2020 okay. uh, but I don't get uh, tunnel vision and, and, and I'm not as narrow minded as to just think and see one way and so he made me a unique complex but simple laid back person and I want to thank you for visiting us here at letstalkstatus.com. I want to thank you for uh, watching us connect the dots in our lives, uh, showing you and entertaining you, or however you want uh, to look at it, or however you perceive it, showing you the people that God has placed in our lives and how we interact with them and deal with them and how we are touching the world in our own way. Um, thank you for peeping into the preacher's life. We're kind of, you know, playing around with uh, what we want to name uh, this hub um, that we're bringing to you. And so we're looking at, uh, of course, I, I already had the site letstalkstatus.com. And, uh, and I ended up veering away from what we were going to do with it uh, because I believe Google Plus uh, does it better than anybody. And that is connecting people to other people who are interested in what they're interested in. Google Plus does that amazingly well. And so we veered away from that. And, I, and I've uh, talked with my wife and we had this idea of creating a site called The Preacher's Life. And we're still looking at that. And then we talked about naming it Connect the Dots or Connect the Dot. And we looked at that. And we said in the meantime, let's just revamp the Let's Talk status.com since we're not going to be using it. And let's do a beta test. And let's test this thing and see how it works out. Uh, and that's why we're using Let's Talk status.com. You know, maybe we'll end up uh, keeping it. As let's talk status .com. That's my wife texting me now. Um, so thank you guys uh, for coming out uh, and and checking out what we have going on um, in the spiritual section. Of course, we're gonna do some traditional and some innovative things. We'll come to you with Bible studies. Uh, we'll we'll come to you with. Uh, videos of preachers and ministers and churches that you're interacting with. It can even be in your community or any community, so get involved with us. Uh, we're working on creating a prayer line, a national prayer line, where you can call and get prayer anonymously. You don't even have to, don't even have to tell uh, whoever answers who you are. Uh, we're working on support groups uh, for people who are going through uh, Divorce, divorces, and dealing with things in life, man. I mean, I thank God for the beautiful life that he's blessed us with. 
and that he bless you with and he bless all of us with. But sometimes life can be challenging, life can be hard, and we come upon uh, moments in life and crises in life uh, where, where things are hard for us and we need a shoulder to lean on, sometimes a shoulder to cry on. We need somebody to talk to. And a lot of times we don't even want to talk to our own family members. Uh, so we want to reach out uh, to somebody, you know, and, and, and a lot of times it may be better to talk to someone who doesn't even know who we are. Just let those spirits agree. And let, let that other spirit on the other side pray for you and comfort you and support you and inspire you and motivate you so that you can get rolling again. Uh, I know that it gets hard sometimes out there. And I don't know what you may be dealing with right now. You may be dealing with some death in your family. Uh, you may be dealing with a financial crisis. You may be uh, fighting with your self-esteem and uh, going through some bullying on the job or in college or at school. There's no telling what you're going through because we all go through several uh, things in this world. But I want you to know right now that you have a place to come to here at letstalkstatus.com. You have a place to come to and somebody to confide in and talk to at Rev J.B. Whitehurst on Twitter at facebook.com slash RevJB Whitehurst on Facebook and at gplus.2 slash RevJB Whitehurst. We're building a community and a team uh, of people that can uh, help each other because we all need some help sometimes. So God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Uh, and, and we're going to go deeper into that in the spiritual section. All you got to do is just click the spiritual button and you, you don't know what we may have waiting uh, for you. Uh, if you have a church home, tell your pastor and minister about us and, and, and get involved because this is, this is you know, the wave of the future. This is, this is the way we're going uh, in the spirit of the Lord. And I, and I can feel him leading me right now uh, because he told us to go into all of the world. And, and we didn't know how, but technology has made it possible for us to go into all of the world. I've never probably been into your home, never probably met you in person, but for some reason or another, you're watching me right now. Uh-huh. And that's nothing but the Spirit of God that has made that possible. And, and I'm not the only one in the world with a purpose. I'm not the only one in the world with a word. I'm not the only one in the world that God can use, and I'm definitely not the one in the world who knows it all. And so we want you to get involved. Uh, however you can. All you got to do is give us a shout, give us a holler, and let us know what you need and let us know what you can offer for other people and for this ministry and this movement uh, and this organization as well. Get your preachers involved. Get your leaders involved. Get your teachers involved. Get your children involved. You can do all that. And so we're going to go into some more stuff in spiritual because I want people to grow spiritually. You know, people go to church Sunday after Sunday, uh, Wednesday after Wednesday, and a lot of times stuff is, is pretty redundant. I've seen it. Um, and sometimes it's, uh, the minister is not as qualified and trained, educated as he should be. Uh, sometimes you have uh, deacons and people in the church fighting against them, and sometimes they become so politicized and and believing that the church is belongs to them and is theirs, and sometimes they actually put too much value on the church. And and let me show you what I mean by that. They a lot of a lot of churches and church members don't even uh, realize that you can begin to idolize the house of God, the church, where you're more concerned about the business of the church. And this is my church, and I've been here for years, and don't let these young folks come in here and do this, and don't let them folk that you forget God and the mission and the ministry that he sent you on. Yeah. We're going to go into a whole bunch of stuff in the spiritual section. So keep your eyes open. Continue to come back with us and participate with us on that. Uh, physical. Uh, over the years, I'm 25 years old. Now, 
you know, I'm, drink, I'm drinking some of this green tea um, or whatever, doing some exercise, especially with my little three-year-old. You know, people's weight fluctuates, and uh, some people are battling uh, weight issues, and some people have diabetes and cancer and health issues, and the Bible says that we should present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him, uh, unto God, which is our reasonable service. Now, we got to take care of ourselves. And I'm not one of those people who are so narrow-minded as to believe I just give you some inspirational sayings and shoot some scriptures out and I go on about my business and I've actually done my job. No, 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 no. We are going to provide uh, a community of people who uh, can struggle with you on your journey. I'm one of them right now because I need to lose some of this belly and uh, give me some sit-ups and, 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 and hit the weight bench again and some running and bicycling and jump roping and all that stuff myself. So uh, in your physical journey, as far as health and as far as uh, your weight and as far as uh, you being rejuvenated and revived and alive and, and moving, you know, and we, we're going to have some events, uh, some wellness walks, uh, some some trainers uh, to get involved with on Google Plus. Um, we'll have some discussions, some talks, some educational material, some awareness material. Uh, you know, we'll deal with a whole range of things dealing with physical, fitness, and uh, your overall state of health. Uh, and we're going to do that. So stay tuned, you know. Uh, check out the health section. You never know what's going to pop up in there because I don't know what's going to pop up in there. See, this is how this thing works, folks. If I can take a quick commercial. God has blessed us. Um, to be saved and then he has blessed us with his word and we got to learn of him and then live our lives the way he would have us to live we become saved we become Christians we become disciples and we're covered by his grace and his mercy and we become sons of God children of God and we live by his spirit we love our neighbors as we love ourselves and we continue to love our God we don't idolize anybody and anything else and, and 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 he has blessed us with that but then he said that I came uh, that you might have life and that more abundantly and so he gives us abundance and he gives us prosperity well what does that mean does that mean that Bill Gates uh, exemplifies uh, and embodies abundance I don't think so and I'm not uh, making shots at Bill Gates' spirituality. I don't know what he has going on. What I'm telling you is that uh, God is concerned about the whole person. He's concerned about uh, your contentment spiritually, your contentment in where you are physically, your, your spiritual growth, your financial growth. Uh, he's concerned about you education-wise, emotional-wise, uh, mental-wise. And believe it or not, though people would have you believe that it is not so, he is concerned about where the nation is and where you are as far as your heart and as far as your vote and as far as political-wise uh, as well. And he's definitely, most certainly, always concerned about where you are socially because all of it is about how you love and get along with your neighbor how you respect and honor your mother and your father god bless my mother and my father i love them both very very much shout out to johnny whitehurst and deborah whitehurst minister reverend johnny whitehurst and deborah whitehurst right now yeah shout out to them. um 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 that's what god's concerned about he's concerned about the spiritual physical financial educational emotional political, social, all of that. And so this is how we set this up. This is how we lead it. If, if I'm good spiritually, physically, financially, educationally, emotionally, socially, and politically, I'm straight. I'm walking in abundance, walking in purpose, living in abundance. 
and all I want to do is what he put me on this earth to do. So I want to continue to help build up everybody else the same way. I got a smile on my face. I'm, I'm full of joy as long as I got that every day. This shirt that I have on right here is from Pain Care Associates. One of the reasons me and my, my wife and I do in-home care service is because in-home care service with White Hearst Companion Care allows us uh, to reap the benefits and feel the fullness of joy spiritually, physically, financially, educationally, and emotionally every single day. We're dealing with the physical health of people, touching lives that way. Oftentimes, people are going through circumstances, uh, just got diagnosed with cancer, just got hit with diabetes, uh, just got COPD, uh, mama or daddy just died, just lost spouse, now I'm going to be at home alone. And it gives us the opportunity to minister to people spiritually. And then we help people save money financially. Uh, keep them from going into the nursing homes and we help even the state and the government save money uh, because it's more feasible for us uh, as a government as a state uh, entity to do uh, home care opposed to uh, care in an institution and then we get the uh, fine opportunity to educate the family members uh, especially with an Alzheimer's patient on how to deal with your, your, your loved one now who doesn't remember who you are all of the time. Uh, what to say, what not to say, when to say it, when not to say it, how to say it, why they're saying that, why they're doing that. So we get the education in there and we learn a lot as well, especially when we uh, journey over to our friends uh, who run support groups and support systems for Alzheimer's and cancer and uh, uh, quadriplegic and, 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 and parent, uh, uh, people for people who are paralyzed, paralysis and things of that nature. So we learn a lot as well and of course emotional is all up in there. It's all up in there. And, and sometimes for emotional, all you got to do is just do what Michael Jackson said. Cut on some healing music. And so we deal with all of that. And, of course, we get to create jobs uh, for, for people as well who are passionate just like us who want to go and help somebody and be that shoulder for them to lean on and take care of them, cook for them and clean for them, et cetera, et cetera. And so we're just blessed. We're just blessed uh, to be here. We're blessed that you're here with us. Uh, not only that, uh, but check out the spiritual. Check out the physical. Check out the financial. Uh, you, you will come up with some career building tips and some people uh, in health services administration, some nurses, some ministers, all kinds of people we're going to bring here so you can figure out what you want to do and figure out what you want your career to be. You'll have uh, access to jobs. Uh, you'll get to see businesses that we feature, business owners uh, that we are dealing with uh, in our lives that we interact with. Uh, so check out the financial section. There'll be tons and tons of stuff there for your financial empowerment. Yeah, 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 right there. Also with education. Also in the emotional section, we'll bring in teachers, we'll bring in artists. If you do poetry, if you do rap, if you do singing, I'm pulling because any any kind of talent that you got uh, that, that will educate somebody, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a principal, uh, even if you do some kind of trade uh, that, that is uh, very unique and a lot of people don't do it, you know, you can, you can fill up the education section. And then artists that sing and rap and country music, I ain't discriminating. Any kind of uh, music and instruments and uh, just counseling and, and, and saying a kind word to somebody, we can bring you into the emotional section. And then voila, you know. So my 25 minutes about up. 
I just want to introduce you uh, to Let's Talk Status .com and to what we have going on. I hope you enjoy the the site, the show, or whatever. Oh, and we got a couple um, TV shows, um, reality shows coming up. Uh, Pastor Glasgow got one. I'm going to be working with him on. And we got one for the young ladies called Young Moms. Don't get pregnant, girl, because it is a lot of work. God bless you. And check us out.